are nice to see you on video today. In this video, I will show you one trick to create free electricity, very simple. Please prepare for me four round magnets with holes inside. Next, please get me another roll of copper wire with a diameter of one millimeter. Then, use that copper wire to wrap around the magnet in a circular motion from the inside out. Note, wrap evenly so that the wire loops are evenly spaced and will ensure that each magnet can wrap 50 wire loops. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. After a while of hard work, I finished my four coils of copper wire wrapped with magnets. Next, I will use an old PC fan. Make sure the PC fan is still working properly. I only have the motor to use, so I will remove the motor from the frame. Break off the excess parts on that motor. Now that we only have the motor and the fan blades left, we will remove the fan blades from the motor. I will use scissors to cut off all the fan blades. Next, I will use a piece of wood to make a base for the machine. I will mount the motor to the wooden base with special glue. Then I use popsicle sticks to make arms. Use some glue and spread some on the motor, then put the popsicle stick on it. Continue to attach Doi's more popsicle sticks to form a cross. Note, please attach carefully to avoid any problems during use. Next, I will attach the copper coil wrapped around the magnet to the wooden base. Note, we still have to attach the coils symmetrically in a plus shape. Next step, I use small magnets with diameter 15 mm to attach to the motor arm. I will attach two magnets to each arm. Now I will connect the ends of the copper coil together. First you have to clean the insulation at the wire ends. First, you have to clean the insulation at the wire ends.
Then use a soldering iron to solder the two ends of the wire together. I use one end of the converter jack and solder it to the two outputs of the copper wire. Next, I used an Arapto to connect to the motor. In this step, I will not use a soldering iron, but will use my hands to wrap the wire ends together. Use tape to seal the joints. Once I have finished my generator, I will take it for a test drive. I will use a transformer circuit to be able to use the power from the generator. I will plug the Arapto into the power outlet, then turn the motor by hand. You see, this is a perpetual generator. Next, I used a fan to test the performance of the generator. Then there will be an incandescent bulb. I am really surprised about this. For so long we have missed a source of electrical energy from extremely simple materials. I tested it by stopping the engine and then starting it again, and it still works great. Let's take a look at the creative work I've done. This is a permanent generator. The current generated from the motor will turn back and nourish itself. You think the idea is great, right? If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.